developing now in the district. They were laid off about two weeks ago. Now former circulator employees, they're demanding answers from the mayor. In fact, tonight about a half dozen of these laid off workers, they rallied outside of Mayor Bowser's Northwest home. DC News Now's Marielle Carbone has been following this issue for us. Yeah, Marielle's live in studio tonight. This is just a latest attempt to get some attention, Marielle, and also answers. Uh, yeah, Chris, it really is. Uh, these employees, they say they still feel confused and even blindsided by that decision to eliminate this service and their jobs. Now we know the city is pointing to low ridership and rising costs, but that aside, employees current and former say they don't deserve the type of treatment they're receiving from the city. As DC circulator service winds down, former employees are still left stunned. So it's been an up and down roller coaster, really. Penny Mwangi was one of 90 employees laid off last month. She says the one week severance pay she was offered based on a list of conditions, including her driver's record and work attendance, isn't enough. And what will one week do for me? Me and others have, you have your car note to pay, you have your house rent to pay, you've just got your upkeep. Mwangi and others rallied outside the mayor's home Wednesday, demanding to be made whole and demanding a response. The mayor has been quiet. She didn't speak to us. She doesn't say anything. Her injustice behavior is causing us to be depressed. The circulator supervisor Daryl Harrison has worked for the agency for 10 years. We did our job. We were professional. Everybody loves circulating. He's calling on the mayor to back a resolution passed by council earlier this month, which would give employees a financial payout using any profit made by selling circulator buses and equipment. They want to give us the money. You saying don't give us the money. The stress of the situation driving his push forward for answers. You know, I got a, I got a wife at home that's sick and need a kidney transplant. So now I got to try to find another job. Now I got to also get myself in the place to get insurance for her. Why? Because somebody else negligent. And I did reach out to the mayor's office asking for some comment about that rally. I did not hear back. Uh, Chris and Susan, employees, they continue to maintain that ridership on those buses was not down and that service should not be cut. Live in studio, I'm Marielle Carbone, DC News Now. All right, Marielle, the update there. Marielle, thanks. Meanwhile,